Welcome back everyone. Thanks for joining me for another beer review, or in this case, a cider review. Uh, the beverage we are looking at now is the final Hawkstone beer that I picked up from Grosvenor Garden Centre. And this is, as I said, it's not a beer, it's a cider. This is the Hawkstone Cider. Uh, it's in a 500ml bottle and coming in at 5%. Uh, individually, £3.49, so not cheap. I don't know... I think all the beers coming at £8.47, the three that I bought of them, uh, of the Hawkstone ones. So there was a bit of discount. Don't know whether that was a mistake or anything. I don't know. But uh, yeah, 3 49 on its own, about £2.80 if you divide it between the three. So it's a nice label, simple label. It's a black bottle cap, but gold on top, if that makes any sense. You can see there. And it's a nice shaped bottle as well. Something a little bit different. Ice cold, just got it out the fridge. It's been in the fridge since I bought it last Sunday. Uh, don't have a Hawkstone glass or a Cotswold Brewing Company glass, so we're gonna bang it in the old Copperberg cider glass. So let's get it cracked open and see what it's like. Because it's a beautiful day today. The sun is out. This is ice cold. I need to take the quench me thirst. And this is what we're gonna look at. Sheffield United playing tonight. Me being a Sheffield United fan, obviously it means something to me. West Brom at O, win tonight, promoted to the Premier League, get in there, fingers crossed. So, cider in a glass. Uh, it's looking, it's sort of golden in colour, sort of typical sort of cider look if you like. There's a bit of carbonation going up in the middle of the glass, not loads, which is nice to see. Normally ciders are quite well carbonated. There's just a dust in a white round the edge now on top. There's a little bit left in the bottle, so let's dive in with the old nose. You know, I'll just have a sniff, I think. Dive in with the old nose and see what we get on the nose. Nice, fresh, crisp sort of apple aroma. And that is always gonna be it, isn't it? But the fact that it smells like a nice, fresh, crisp apple is good. I believe the apples used in this are off Diddley Squat Farm, Jeremy Clarkson thing. So, stop sniffing, talking. Let's try, see what we get. Cheers. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. That's how a cider should taste like. Not like the bloody crap I had yesterday, which has just gone public. So if you happen to see that, give it a watch. Uh, yeah, so let's go in again. Body's nice on it. There's no wateriness at all. It's not a sort of heavy, sticky sort of body. It's just a, a, a good sort of feel to it if you like there's no wateriness it's not heavy or sticky carbonation is bang on it's just enough to bring it to life if you like pretty smooth when you drink it on the taste it's all apple as you'd expect uh, lovely, clean, crisp, refreshing drink. Beautiful on a day like today. It doesn't feel too acidic. You're always going to get a bit of that, I think, with the cider, a bit of that acidicness. This one, yeah, it's there but it doesn't feel too sharp or acidic, like I say. 5%, it feels like 5% to me. It's got that old school sort of, I remember when I used to drink cider, Strongbow years ago, when it used to be 5%. It had that, it's, it's got that feel about it. It's quite dry. There is a subtle sweetness to this, but it's more sort of, I'm not going to say bitter apple, but 
yes, if you like. They do, they use spit sweet apples, don't they? So maybe that's what's in this. Uh, a little bit of sweetness on the front, and that then that bitterness sort of thing, the apple bitterness, if you like, on the back end. It dries you out a bit. It'd probably be classed as a, a, a medium dry cider. Uh, let me have a quick look. Bloody 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 blah, bloody bloody blah blah. blah. Oh, ah, interesting. Uh, using the fresh pressed juice from the apples picked uh, in those counties. Hang on. I'm going to have to go back. Uh, the ancient Hawkstone stands proud, looking out over the orchards of Gloucestershire, Herefordshire, Oxfordshire and Worcestershire. Uh, using the fresh pressed juice from the apples picked in these counties, our master ciders make makers ferment with champagne yeast and mature the cider for up to six months before cold filtering to create a cider that's full of flavour and character. Yeah, it's really nice actually. It's got that little, maybe it's that champagne yeast that gives it that little bit of dryness as well that this has. But no, as ciders go, that's a decent cider. So, if you happen to see it and you like your ciders, Sammy, do you mind? I'm doing a video. Uh, if you happen to see it, give the Hawkstone Cider a try. Very nice drop indeed. I, I can't see anyone being disappointed with that if you like cider. Very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, it gets a big thumbs up from me. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. That's it for this one. Thank you all for watching and enjoy your evening. I'll see you again soon on another one. What's up?